is uh, a, you know, a, a bit of, we, we don't seem to have a consensus on a particular issue because we've had a long uh, holiday and this is what we have, all right? So is it Utamaduni Day or Huduma Day? We see others saying Utamaduni Day, others saying Huduma Day. High Court judge reinstated October 10th, previously celebrated as Moi Day, as a public day in 2017. However, we are seeing, you know, some saying Happy Utamaduni Day, Happy Uduma Day, Dismas. What is it? I mean, which is which? Well, nobody seems to know, but uh, it should appear that it's a Uduma Day. Is it? Yeah, because all I remember is that uh, this was a special day for uh, retired uh, President Daniel Toretisha Rap Moi when it was Moi Day. Then. <coughs> And mm -hmm. after getting a new constitution, the, the drafters started to scrap off uh, naming any of these days uh, after a personality. Right. So then uh, it became, uh, in my understanding, right. it, Uduma Day. It's Uduma Day. Yeah. But, but whatever it is, you know, they say a rose by any other name smells just uh, nice. So it's, it's a day fine. To, it's a day to remember. As long as it's a Moe. public holiday? All right. So <laughs> we, we, we stick to that. All right. Uh, Ishmael. <laughs> Any, uh, any, any difference for you? Or it doesn't I don't make a difference? know actually why we keep the day but do not uh, <coughs> have any function mm -hmm. on the day. And uh, uh, if you talk about Huduma, mm -hmm. even if you talk about Utamaduni cultural mm -hmm. or uh, Huduma service, mm -hmm. I think there should be something important for Kenyans. I mean, we have got a lot of people, especially our military, which works very much hard outside the country mm -hmm. to protect us. This Uduma should have some special activities to recognize such service, I think so. Right. But just having it a dull day when the president goes out to Uganda and Tanzania to celebrate and mm -hmm. we are mm -hmm. having a, a great, you know, service day, mm -hmm. I think should be reviewed by Kenyans. We should have something tangible to do on this day. Because it seems that there's some sort of confusion here. What are we really celebrating? You know, it, 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 really, Kenyans don't know. It doesn't make sense to them. Mm. Well, uh, I really do not understand the importance of this mm -hmm. day. Considering that uh, Kenya has turned into a national holiday country <coughs> where we have so many holidays. Do we really? There are very many. Let me tell you, a working country mm -hmm. needs working days. Mm -hmm. If you have so many days doing nothing, yesterday the amount of revenue that got lost. We never went to court. Most of the people didn't work. So really, how does government want to get revenue? How do individuals want to grow financially and economically if they have more days to relax? I'll give you, for example, where I come from in uh, Kisi, mm -hmm. Friday has been turned into a, a, a Kisi Barrio Day. No work is done. Students are not going to school. Mm -hmm. That is a day that is supposed to be for working. Mm -hmm. Monday equally has been turned into a Barrio Day. So mm -hmm. my people in the village have only four days working. Mm -hmm. So how do you expect to compete with others nationally. How does Kenya expect to compete globally if we have so many days that people are not working? Mm -hmm. So I, I think the judge made a mistake and we should go to court and review this order because already the day had died. Somebody went to court in Machakos and challenged this decision and the court upheld that that day must be preserved. Mm -hmm. For what purpose? All right. And Dunstan, I suspect many Kenyans would not be happy with what you're saying. <laughs> uh, 